Hey guys, I wanted to do another quick video on some of the progression of um, the interactive templates and, and what we're doing. And so when, in the last video I showed the birth, birthday um, coupon, which basically has two variations within one template. This, um, what we're calling a mag coupon template, has three variations, um, three possible experiences. And you can see basically in this conditional, uh, we're, we're conditioning out the image based on a, a attribute um, value. And so based on that, we change the image, we change some of this text here, um, and then that's really it. And then again, down here, I'm using the barcode snippets and the custom CSS snippet. So this is pretty simplistic. I mean, doing the birthday template, we learned how to do all this. And so this was not a major change, but what I wanted to show you, what was the biggest, biggest difference for us with this one is we started using handlebars within the um, message composer flow. So I'm going to go into here, and, and this actually took a little bit of trial and error, just because one, you know, I wasn't familiar with if this even supported it, and and two, um, you know, some things are, are a little off, and so I'll kind of just walk through those. So one, I'm just going to load some some test data in here real quick, so we can see that. So the first place we're using handlebars. Um, try and close this. Okay, I'll just leave it open. The first place we're using handlebars is the push notification text. And you can see this actually down here respects the handlebars and actually shows the correct output. So this is pretty close, uh, pretty similar to what we're using in the WYSIWYG, where it's basically three conditionals based off the value of flag A, uh, which basically just changes this, you know, it's 15 off of, um, 10 off of 15, uh, 10 off of 50. Uh, 15 off of 75 and 25 off of 100. So we changed that text. So that actually worked out really well. And you can see it here that that works. Um, and then, you know, our creative team said, well, we want the push image also to be kind of uh, different. And so if you see down here, I went ahead and, and used handlebars to basically change the last path parameter of a URL. So there's technically many ways you could do this. I mean, you could basically have three different URLs kind of wrapped in this way and then Basically what I did is I just singled out the last path parameter and made that dynamic. And so, you know, when I did this, I was like, oh, you know, this didn't update, so it must not work. But then I just made sure, I, you know, I said, I'm gonna test this because maybe, you know, at some time they're gonna swap them out. And then sure enough, you know, this works. Um, you, you know, it gets resolved properly when it gets sent and the images work. And so I think this is super powerful and great. I would I just hope in the future, potentially, we, you know, Airship can make this image update here just so we can you know use the preview data to test it and just feel more confident so that's the second place and then the third place which i thought was really cool um, just because i didn't know it was possible uh, again was here i was able to use handlebars um, in the extra fields and the custom keys and so we use the custom keys to drive our custom inbox uh, list our custom inbox list and so we have custom uh, thumbnail images and, and text and so forth. And so just like the push notification image, we wanted a custom message box image based on uh, the, the flag A value. And with this handlebar um, code, we were able to do that. And so, you know, here, here I obviously, I don't expect there to be a preview because these are all extra keys. Um, um, and so this is fine. I don't think it, there needs to be any logical iteration on this. I think the only thing is really this image, if it could respect the handlebars, that'd be amazing. But yeah, so that's kind of the natural iteration of handlebars. We're using it in the templates and now we're using it in the message composer flow. And it's it's really uh, empowering us to do some 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 great things at Ulta. You know, we're now able to get one CRM list or one, one basically CSV uh, file from our CRM team with all this different types of blended data and do, you know, one template one push campaign and then that template in that push campaign can then serve three different scenarios and it really simplifies our process simplifies qa uh, and it just makes you know things so much easier on end. so we're, we're, we're loving attributes we're loving handlebars and the dynamic nature of everything and so just as a natural progression of your tool you know again just making that image kind of previewable what would be great um and yeah that's really it so yeah i just want to share with you guys thanks so much and, and please shoot me any questions